who disagree with me. So my, oh, Mr. Blog, for what purpose does the member rise? Gary Blog, before we start the debate on the ruling of the chair, can the motion, can the amendment that Jameson is proposing be read slowly once again? Yes, I will read it one more time. Okay. Okay, 3.A.4. After the initial award ballot is generated, if any finalists are removed for any reason, they will be replaced by other works in reverse order of elimination. All right. Yes. Please come to the microphone. My name is Edmund Schweppe, and I just like to know, could we have a repeat of what exactly the ruling of the chair is that we are appealing to or from or against? <laughs> I'd love to if I could ever get there. <laughs> I really am trying to not have us be in here all day, just saying. Um, the ruling of the chair is that this amendment constitutes a lesser change. That means that it is a change that the people who first passed this motion would have definitely agreed to. No, 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 no. 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 Yes, it is. It's closer to common practice. Yes. I am, trust me. I have this job for a reason. <laughs> the reason I, and that would mean that it does not need to then go forward again for ratification, that we could ratify it this year. The reason I am arguing that it is a lesser change is that the people who voted on this last year voted to change the system by which we uh, administer the Hugos, and I believe they would have changed it less if it had been proposed. This change brings the s new system closer in line with the current system. That means that the process by which we would run the nominations under EPH is more like what we have currently, and it is my sense that the people last year would have agreed to that change. Now I'm looking for someone to speak against the change. Ms. Faber. Uh, Mr. Yellow as the, yes, I apologize, Ms. Faber. He does get. The reason I do not believe this to be a lesser change is that I believe the rerunning is an orthogonal process to our existing eliminate and replace. It provides something entirely different, and therefore one cannot say that a particular thing is greater or lesser or closer or further, because in fact it is so different that making those kinds of comparisons is impossible. Point of information. Yes, Ms. Faber. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was confused by your explanation because you talked about the people who voted on this last year, but I thought we didn't vote on this last year. I thought this yes. was the first year we are voting. No, no. EPH is, is up for ratification. Uh, but, oh, my bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for a speech in favor of the chair's ruling. Ms. Rudolph. You have 30 seconds. My name is Anne Marie Rudolph. I think effectively what um, Jared is saying, at least to me, is that there is less process involved in this and there will be less impact. Um, the first run that gives a ranking of works will be used um, to replace any works that are knocked off of it rather than taking that work out of the original run and redoing the whole thing, which could slightly change all of the results. So in that sense, I feel it's a lesser change. Speech against the chair's ruling. Mr. Breitbart. <coughs> Mr. Quinn. Jameson. Yes. 
Seth Breitbart. As someone who voted for this last year and part as someone who voted for this last year and participated in the discussion, this point was raised and the idea was that rerunning it was a fairer method for all concerned than not rerunning it. For what purpose does the member rise? Uh, the chair has said that um, when, it, if it would have been agreed to by the previous year, my question is, does that mean would they agree to the change as opposed to the full EPH um, uh, um, amendment as passed yet last year, or would they agree to the change as opposed to the status quo as existed before then? To, they would agree to the change as opposed to rerunning EPH. It, those who voted for EPH would have definitively agreed to, while including the rest of EPH, not include rerunning it. Yeah. But it, uh, if if the okay. if the original amendment had if the original EPH had had the text as amended, you are saying they would have passed that just as they did pass yes. EPH. That is my question. Thank you. And so the the, the what Mr. Breitbart's oh, sorry. The, uh, yeah. Down, this is yeah. Please sit down. <laughs> Mr. Kowalczyk, for what purpose does the member rise? Uh, Isn't it true the only issue is whether or not it's a lesser change and it's a lesser change to the Constitution, therefore how people voted last year is irrelevant? Yes. yes. Mr. Cronengold, for what purposes? I'd really like to just make... Yes, how, how much time remains for, uh, for debate? None. none. Virtually none. I'd really like to just make my closing arguments. I think that this brings EP, the motion for EPH closer in line with current practice and that it would have, that it is a lesser change. I'm not going to spend too much time debating this. All those in favor of sustain, sustaining the chair's ruling, please raise your hands. Hands down. All those opposed? All right. I'm going to say the ayes have it. The ayes do have it. The ruling is sustained. This can be ratified this year. No. We haven't actually adopted the change. I said this. Yes, I understand. I was speaking to the deputy. There's a motion to call the question. Is there a second? Is there any objection? Who still wishes to speak on the amendment? I have No, no, just do you want to speak? To just raise your hand if you want to speak on Mr. Quinn's amendment. He does. Okay. It requires a two-thirds vote to close debate. All those in favor of closing debate on just the amendment, raise your hand. Hands down. All those opposed? All right. The ayes appear to have it. The ayes do have it. We're going to vote on Mr. Quinn's amendment. That is to reword section 3.A.4. All those in favor of the amendment, please raise your hands. All right, hands down. All those opposed? I'm going to say the ayes have it, the ayes do have it. The motion is amended. Mr. Stanley, for what purpose does the member rise? <laughs> Kevin Stanley. Mr. Chairman, I move the foreshadowed amendment on the board to require annual re ratification of this proposal through 2022. Do we need to debate this? There are people asking to debate. Actually, Mr. Chairman, I would, I will not give a speech 